I'm Peter Block in Chicago at ACC 2016 for On the Scene, and with me is Steve Nichols from Down Under from Australia. Uh, Steve has been interested in CETB inhibition and the whole issue of how it works. It lowers LDL, raises HDL, has to be good, right? Well, not necessarily. So Steve, tell me about your trial and tell me about the very intriguing outcomes here. So we've done a phase two study of a CETP inhibitor called Evacetropib raised HDL more than 100%, lowered LDL incrementally on top of a statin, didn't appear to have the toxicities that we saw with torcetropib, which was a previous CTP inhibitor. We went did a large outcome trial, more than 12,000 patients, high vascular risk, treated with evacetropib or placebo. HDL goes up 130%, LDL goes down 37%, absolutely no clinical benefit whatsoever, hazard ratio of 1.01. Okay, so let me interrupt because, I mean, this is craziness, right? The HDL in your study in your patients was more than 100, and the LDLs were lower than 60. That's got to be good for you. So how could there be no difference in the outcomes uh, in these two groups? What do you think is going on? Well, I think you've got to ask a number of questions. First of all, is there a problem with the mechanism? This is the third CETP inhibitor that hasn't worked. So I think you've got to think with regards to lowering LDL or raising HDL, mechanism matters. Statins lower LDL and they work. CTP inhibitors lower LDL and at least right now they don't appear to work. Uh, number two, uh, is there a problem with the LDL that you ended up with in these patients? And there's some data to suggest that the LDL in CTP inhibited patients may be more atherogenic. So we need a, to learn a lot more did something offset the potential benefits that you'd see from lowering LDL? We expect 37% lower LDL to work. So did something offset that? Was it the HDL? Was it the small blood pressure rise? Was it the rise in CRP? We've got to take a deeper dive into the data. And then finally, it still puts a question mark on HDL. In the statin era, we are still failing to find a single drug that raises HDL that works. We have some imaging studies that show if you infuse HDL without raising its level, it shrinks plaque, but we've yet to see a clinical benefit in large trials. So we've got a lot more work to do. Well, this is a very fascinating negative trial. And Steve and I were talking before the interview, and it turns out that the pathophysiology going on here is really the nuts and bolts about trying to understand what atherosclerosis is all about. So going forward, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I think we'll learn a lot more about the data from this study. There is one more trial that is ongoing, a study called REVEAL, 30,000 patients with an agent called anisotropib. It's important to let that study run its course and give an answer we start to look for other targets. The PCSK9 inhibitors are all the rage at this meeting. We're going to see outcome data soon. We're doing an imaging study looking at coronary IVUS with PCSK9 inhibitors. We're expecting to see more regression than we've seen before. We need to see those results. And then we go hunting for other targets, triglycerides, LP little a. There's still a lot of work to be done. A lot of work to be done, a lot of interesting pathophysiology. Thank you, Steve.